the Ferrari Roma. Now, through the genius of social media, I kind of already know your two-line opinion on this. You mm. welcome the return of fuss-free styling, but you also think it looks a bit like an Aston Martin. Or a, a bit like an Aston Martin. Or a stillborn Pininfarina concept. Now, would you like to expand my role, my role, please? Well, you know, you are right, yes, but, you... I, but I would argue this. Let, I'll kick it off. Um, that if you're going to design a clean, classic, front-engined GT car, that it's pretty hard to avoid comparisons to stuff like Aston Martins because that's okay. what they build their reputation on. I think I've seen it, and I think. I think I think you'll review this and you won't be happy with your argument. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, so, I'm, so, so, if you're really over the magic of TV, you can now put up an Aston Martin V8 Vantage on one side, side profile, and the Roma on on the other mm -hmm. side, side profile, and look at the shape. Now, look at the shape of the glass house of the, of the glass on the side. They are identical. I mean, if I, if I was Aston Martin, I wouldn't be there. I'd be on to my lawyer saying, right, IP, let's have a look at this. Fair play. Because it's so similar. Yeah. Um, so, first of all, it it does look too much like an Aston Martin. If I, I wouldn't want to... Aston, when Aston Martin makes, as it is, is making a mid-engine car, it's not going to look like a 488 or an F8 Tributo, or whatever mm. it's called this yeah, week. Yeah. Um, so, that's a mistake. Ferrari's making too many cars now. Mm -hmm. So, there's too many models. Mm -hmm. So really what we've got Five here... Five new Ferraris this year. So we've got a Portofino with a roof, haven't we, really, here? We've got Portofino. They, they claim 70% new chassis parts, and also the other thing is they... It's going to be a bit more dynamic. So you've got five... Five stages on the Mantino. Yeah, the low cabin looks and, nice. And, yeah. But it's just that I'm... I can't keep up. <laughs> I can't keep up with it all. It's too much. It's too many... <laughs> it's just too many... There's a look of resignation in your no, face. No, it's too many... There's too many... Cars. There's too many of them. I don't know who's going to buy them all. Yeah. I know, you know, if you're, if you're a good Ferrari customer, then you'll have to buy one of these to get your... Whatever your... Your 812 SF, your GTO SF is going to be called, yeah. or your... No, the SF90, I think you can get... I think they'll sell you one of those if you're Joe... <laughs> I could walk in and buy Got one, one of those. those in stock, yeah. Um, and... If the world's going to look back on the SUV era as being a bit embarrassing, then I think the sports car manufacturers, those that survive, will look back on this period and say, what were we thinking? We just got so far ahead of ourselves. We allowed shareholders and other influences to force us to a position. We made too many cars. And I wouldn't want to be a, yeah. I wouldn't want to be Ferrari dealer trying to sell all this stuff at the moment. Don't, don't, don't we have to celebrate a car like the Roma because, as you no, said, return to fast no, free style. No, we be don't. Because, we I'll don't. tell you why, because it might be the only modern Ferrari that you can drive around and not look like a bit of a bell ending. You know, get, get it in black, you can delete the badges, you just buy whatever. A, buy a used F12, and what would you rather have? Well, yeah, no, I get it. Would you rather have yeah, a, but a, two, I said, a but three year old modern, F12? I said new, I said new, new Ferrari. It's three years old, not new? It's newish. So it's got a seven year warranty on it, so you've got four years warranty left. Yeah, I know. So you can either have a proper, normally aspirated V12 Berlinetta, mm. or you can have what should have been a Maserati with a V8, and look, and everyone goes, is that an Aston Martin? If you drive an F12, no one goes, is that an Aston Martin, do they? No. All right, so if you had to name the Chris Harris top five Ferrari GT cars oh, from over the years. So my favourite one is the F12. All right. Because, um, because you have one? Uh, yeah, I did. I should never have sold it. But I, I now... It takes a while for the for your views on these to settle, but I think the F12 is a better looking car than an 812. Mm -hmm. It's a it's just a nicer piece of styling. It's cleaner. GT cars. The FF is is actually a really good GT car, All right. uh, and I I enjoyed many miles in one of those. The the unsung ones for me, uh, 612 Scaglietti with a manual gearbox. If yes. you get to drive one of those, mm -hmm. fantastic car. Mm -hmm. they're, they're worth quite good money now, but they are. There's something about the 612 when it came out. We all laughed at it. But as it's, it's aged with real elegance, uh, and a friend of mine just bought one, I have to say, and I was, I was in it the other day and I thought, this is magnificent. You sit in the back seat, it's got loads of room. Sounds fantastic. Again, the F1 thing's a bit <laughs> but the but the, um, but the manual's really good. Mm -hmm. uh, 456 GT, modded for car tone manual. How cheap are those now? Uh, they've, they, they got caught up in the whirlwind, but they've come back down again now. Um, 50? 60. I think 65 gets you a manual right-hand drive car, one of, what, 30-odd manuals. But they are a maintenance disaster. That's about, <laughs> a friend of mine had one for sale. He's a car dealer a couple of years ago, and he refused to sell it to me. I said, I've turned up with the money. He said, I don't want you coming back at me with this thing because yeah. everything breaks on them. Mm -hmm. And the last one, if I'm allowed one more, I go back in the back catalogue, I go 365 GTC4. So that's effectively the Daytona mm -hmm. 
with a Daytona engine, four seats, yeah. um, but it doesn't have a transaxle gearbox at the front and it has power steering. Yes. Uh, they are sensational cars to drive, much nicer to drive than a Daytona. The Daytona's got uh, unassisted steering. It's a bit, a bit as a tank to drive. Yeah, good to Whereas this, this, and I drove, I drove one recently that had just been fully restored by Joe Macari, and it was a honey. And if I'd had the bunts, I would love to. Have Big owned money it. days. I think it was two hundred that one, but I think uh, you could probably get one for one fifty. Yeah, it's a massive amount of money for anyone really. But, but given that, uh, given that a Daytona's half a million, and this is a nicer car, and it's got two extra seats, and I yeah. think it looks cooler. So there's my my GT Ferraris. But the one. The one that everyone should be looking out for, I think, is the F12 over the next few years. Yeah. Mm. Never should have sold it. Wow. Such is life, isn't it? Better to have loved and lost.